So anyway, Lisa's been on the show before. She's uh, one of those longtime folks like me that have been beating my head against the wall for a long time trying to make an <laughs> internet business work, right? Um, sure. And her, her shtick is buymichigannow.com. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to des describe it because I'll mess it up. So why don't you describe it? Well, Buy Michigan Now is a, a statewide campaign to encourage people to learn more about Michigan-based businesses and spend more of their money with Michigan-based businesses and Michigan and on Michigan-made products. Okay. And what caught my eye is I am get her Facebook feed. And uh, so uh, she, she was advertising that you should buy some products for Father's Day. So let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah, Father's Day, you know, we're we're less than two weeks away. Uh, and so each year we do a Mother's Day gift guide and a Father's Day gift guide. So obviously right now we're in our Father's Day gift guide and it's got a lot of great ideas. I mean, some of them are not necessarily uh, the idea is so creative, like, you know, a tie or a wallet or some of the things, sweatshirt, some of the things that people have been buying their dads Dots, yeah. since yeah. the dawn of Father's Day. Right. Um, <laughs> but we show you a company where you can get it and it's been produced here in the state of Michigan. So uh, so that's great. And the way that the gift guide works is uh, you go to we have a, a, a dozen categories. So you go into the category. You can look at a specific item. But when you click to go to the website, you can see the entire catalog of things that that company makes. So if we picked a, like for example, there's a Ford sweatshirt in there. That's a really cool uh, antique looking Ford sweatshirt. If you'd rather have a different automotive company, that same company, Detroit Shirt Company, makes other brands, uh, branded merchandise that's automotive related. That might be something you want to look at. Uh, so we've got authors, we've got books that are listed. And some of those authors we've recommended, maybe the current one in a series and maybe you want to go back and, and get the first one or the second one or the whole series for your dad. So there's a lot of that. I think some of the more creative uh, ideas where we do get a little bit unique is in our experiences and classes. So we looked at ways that you can get something for dad that's a little bit different. For example, uh, if your dad has a tremendously great sense of humor and is maybe one of those guys who already has everything, you may not know, but you can buy the right for him to be the mayor of hell, Michigan, for a day. So <laughs> it's a unique and different opportunity that they offer that's really cool and fun and and just something wacky. At the same time, there's a, an opportunity in Frankenmuth for him to become a, a blacksmith and actually forge something. You get the experience of working with those tools and seeing what it's like to work in a blacksmith shop and walk away with a dagger that he made himself. Uh, so that's kind of a unique thing. And then if your dad's a lot more active, uh, we talk about ways to maybe go up in a helicopter uh, and see sites around the state or get in a kayak and kayak pictured rocks and the companies that you can do that with. All right. Exciting stuff. And uh, uh, are there a lot of, would you say there's a lot of products, products? I could do it here. Uh, Focus <laughs> on, but look, but look, that's all folks. Are there a lot of products on your website that you think are appropriate for dad? You just listed some of them, but I mean, there are a lot of them. Or some yeah, there's or? a lot of them. I mean, the gift guide itself, uh, as I said, I mean, all told that there's 12 categories. We've got a half dozen in each category. So that's a lot to choose from. And like I said, links to those companies. We also constantly do uh, features on our site. So for example, right now we've got a feature that's talking about uh, the products that would really make grilling season better. So you can mm -hmm. also look at that article and see, maybe you put a collection of stuff together that's going to make your dad be better on the grill, different condiments and barbecue sauces and spice rubs and all those kinds of things. And maybe it's looking at those that are available and putting together your own gift that gives it your unique twist. So some of it is maybe something we specifically suggested and some of it is maybe something that you use us as a, as a guide to come up with something. There's also a directory of Michigan-based businesses that people can search as well. Let's talk a little bit about your long history of developing this. I think it's at least 15 years, which rivals me. I've been doing mine for a little over 20. It's hard to believe, <laughs> right? Yeah, so much fun, right? The, the roller coaster ride all the time. Anyway, so let's talk about how this came to be and how you've developed it and where it is today. Well, it started in 2007. So you are right. We are in our 15th year. And really, it was a fluke. Uh, <laughs> I'm a business consultant. And I had been doing some traveling and and 
uh, for work. Most of my clients were out of state. And every time I came back, there was another business that was in trouble. If you think back to how bad it was in 2007 and 2008. Oh, yeah. And uh, I was trying to figure out what can we do to make things better. And it seemed obvious that one of the first things would be look at where all of us are spending our dollars. And, you know, could we shift more dollars toward home? There's a longstanding statistic that's based on the population of the state of Michigan. But if every Michigan household shifted just $10 of its weekly expenses, to Michigan-based companies, we'd put uh, about $1.9 billion into our economy in a year, which is way better than, you know, incentives for certain businesses to come or some industry to try to come in. So it's really just a case of what we do. So I started, the information wasn't that easy to find about what was Michigan made and what was Michigan based. So I started doing research. Friends of mine wanted a copy of the research. And I thought, you know what, I should just put this up on a little website. So people could find it. And within three weeks, Governor Granholm's office called and said she wants to talk about your campaign on her weekly radio address, which was when I discovered I had a campaign. <laughs> so and from then, it's just been we've had uh, each governor proclaimed by Michigan Week every year. It's the first week of August. And we throw a three day festival in downtown Northville. Uh, I hope folks will come out for that. It's August 4th through 6th this year. And in fact, if anybody's listening has a business that would be great to sell there or is interested in sponsorship, we still have some opportunities available. But the event draws about 30,000 people over the course of the weekend. And what's really cool about it is we literally call it the Buy Michigan Now Festival. So people that come know that the idea is it's not an art fair. Well, there is some art there. It really is come and buy from these companies, talk to the person that owns the companies, get to know this product line in a way that you can't at most other events. And have you invited Governor Whitner to attend? Um, I don't know that we have uh, done that this year. We, we've done it in the past. It, it all depends on... Um, what's happening, I, I we probably will, and we haven't yet. I get leery when it's an election year because we have not done anything. This is like a bipartisan citizen operated, volunteer operated effort, and we don't wanna to seem too much attached to uh, any government agency. So, uh, but we, when we write the letter requesting by Michigan Week, we of course always extend an invitation as well. Yeah, I know her PR people. So if you need some help with that, let me know. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, so, um, how many products now do you have listed on there? Any idea? Do you get a number? Uh, well, specific products, it's hard because they don't, it, the, the businesses list themselves, but it's not necessarily that every product is, is listed. So uh, there's 72 different ones in the, in the gift guide. Um, there's also, as I said, all these other ways that we promote individual products. So it, it all, it all depends by holiday season, that gift guide will grow to over 200 different product ideas. Uh, so we do that. We do Valentine's, Mother's Day, Father's Day, and and the holidays. So that all depends. And then, you know, we're promoting um, books by Michigan authors all the time. We're promoting um, foods as they come out. We just went to the Making It in Michigan conference in Lansing and selected six really unique products that we didn't know about before that, that we thought were cool that people should know about. So there's a, a nonstop influx. If, if you're a person who wants to contribute to the local economy, is interested in finding out what's new and what's coming and um, which products to be asking stores to carry, uh, we're uh, your best resource for that. So you want to you wanna make buymichigannow.com a regular visit on your web searching and surfing. And also, uh, we've got a newsletter that everyone can subscribe to for free too, that as you know, because uh, Mike, you're a subscriber, it gets the word out about a lot of these features as well. And then if somebody uh, wants to uh, add their products to your uh, e-commerce site, I guess we'd call it, uh, how do they do that? Yeah, so um, membership is on different levels to, based on, uh, we, we have a, a level called associate and that is for any business to just add themselves for free uh, to just build the directory to give a lot of resources to Michigan-based businesses. Membership, actual membership starts at just, if you're a single business with a single location, it's just $100 a year. Uh, which is uh, as affordable as we can possibly make it. And that also helps us keep the campaign going all year round. And, uh, you know, every business in Michigan benefits every time we change someone's mind about the importance of buying local. So if you're not a part of it yet and you own a business in Michigan, highly encourage you at the very least get in the directory for free. But think about, you know, spending your, it's, you know, less than a streaming service to spend your, you know, uh, $100 a year on being part of this statewide movement. And they can find it by just going to buymichigannow.com and click, clicking the button that says join. 
And if they want to reach out to you individually, is that possible? I do have your email address, but I don't want to share it unless you want me to. <laughs> no, it's fine. People can always, uh, there's a contact us page, but you can always send an email to info at buymichigannow.com for questions as well. Okay. Any final thoughts before I bring in that handsome Rob Pano from Xfinity? <laughs> Now, just a reminder again that the, the festival is August 4th through 6th, and in particular, any proud Michigan-based companies out there that might want to learn about sponsorship, we've got sponsorship packages that might be surprising as how affordable they are, and uh, we really piece this together with the support of businesses and local community, so I'd love to hear from anybody that's interested in that. And of course, if someone's shopping for a Father's Day gift and they feel compelled to buy a Michigan product, where do they go? They go to buymichigannow.com and right on the, the toolbar at the top, click on dad gift guide and you'll see all the choices that we've suggested this year.